Today marks the one year anniversary of the death of basketball great Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. It also marks the anniversary of the deaths of the other seven people on board that doomed helicopter. Jim Murray now with a reminder of those forgotten victims. A year ago today, the nation was shocked to hear the news. NBA legend Kobe Bryant has died in a helicopter crash. Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. The basketball star perished along with his 13-year-old daughter Gianna and seven others after a helicopter taking them to a basketball tournament crashed in Calabasas, California. To mark the anniversary, Kobe's wife Vanessa wrote on Instagram, I miss my baby girl and Kobe Kobe so much. I will never understand why, how this tragedy could have happened to such beautiful, kind, and amazing human beings. I love you. The families of the other victims are also grieving one year later. John Altabelli, his wife Carrie, and their 13-year-old daughter Alyssa all lost their lives that day. Now John's brother Tony tells Inside Edition the moment he found out. I got a phone call from uh, the assistant coach on the team, and he was already inconsolable at that point. And he said, they're all gone. And I'm like, what do you mean they're all gone? Who's all gone? And he said, John, Carrie, and Alyssa, they were on the helicopter and they're all gone. John was the beloved head baseball coach at Orange Coast College for nearly 30 years. His last ever game was the state championship. Also on board the helicopter was 38-year-old Christina Mauser, who survived by three young children and a loving husband. It's been a really, really tough year. Uh, we miss our... We miss our mom, we miss, I miss my wife. Matt Mauser says he remembers the last thing Christina ever said to him as she left early that morning. As she came and kissed me on the cheek and I remember her saying, I love you and I was still sleeping. I just, and then she kinda, I came to as she was walking out the door and she shut the door and I uh, went back to bed and I wish I would have, uh, wish I would have woken up. Their 11-year-old daughter, Penny, was supposed to be on the helicopter, too, but she stayed home, recovering from a cold to preserve her energy for a performance that night. My wife and I decided that we were just going to keep her home and kind of forego her going up so that she could be, you know, ready for the show that night. Tonight, Matt is hosting a virtual musical benefit to raise money for the Christina Mauser Foundation. Fans of Kobe are marking the anniversary with hundreds of murals painted across Los Angeles. There's even a map showing where you can find all of them. Stunning works of art to memorialize the beautiful souls lost much too soon. The NTSB will hold a virtual hearing next month to determine the probable cause of the crash. They've already ruled out engine and mechanical failure.